other people have thought about these. They're called stink pipes. So supposedly in the 80... Oh, I just got to say that that one is photographed from Carl Shorten. That's where Mickey lives. It's got this sort of crown on it and stuff. And there's a little map showing you how many there were in London. I found one in Plymouth, so they had to be everywhere. But supposedly in 1858, there was a big stink in London. Um, they said neap tides. So I went and looked up what neap meant. They're just higher tides after a certain time of the moon cycle, so they say. And um, it just caused so much smell. They even closed down Parliament. Now, I look, when I was looking up a bit, one of the people said that it went to Oxford, but I didn't actually find that it went to Oxford. I just found that it had closed down while well, the smell was there. It had everything. Everything obviously was dumped in there. But I tried to look up floods, but I didn't really see anything about floods. But they're saying it was because of the heat, and the heat was in the 90s. Well, last week we had the 90s. I suppose it would have, if it lasted a couple of months, it would have felt a long time. We only had it for four or five days, something like that. But it's, you know, quite crazy, really. But obviously, we've seen these things, and some of them look a bit like monuments. <laughs> and actually stink pipes. Um, obviously, above the people's heads. So that, the you know, the smell didn't come near them and went off into the sky. But I still think that surely it would have come down a bit you'd have to have the pipes quite high really for it for the people not to smell it but uh yeah i just thought it was a bit interesting it was 1858 and you know what's really incredible it caused cholera it caused supposedly 40,000 people to die but four years later they're holding the world trade fair there so don't you think that's a bit weird the country's been in this tragic thing where thousands of people have died there's a serious problem okay they stuck the pipes in but only a few years later they're having this great big exhibition which would have been being built supposedly so this whole thing happened and obviously the pipes were must have been put in because they knew the world trade fair was coming uh, only in the 1860s and this was all happening in the 1850s um, so it was 1858 and the trade fair was 1862 so I think that's a bit strange when a country has had a tragic thing happen thousands of people are dying and within a very 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 short period having a world trade fair center thing going on but you know and they look way out and about uh, and in front of their times considering you know that big wheel i don't know if that actually came to the uk but that big wheel sat two thousand people i mean it would have taken forever to load the thing up what was it like two thousand people running towards the big wheel and i just don't get it so many seats in this thing it never would have filled it what did they think that i just don't know the whole world was going to come to each fair or something um there you go that's the world trade fair 1862 so only four years on there is the world trade fair it's only four years on from the the the, the complete like annihilation of, of london Forty thousand people dying um as i say you know we want to know when the big flood was maybe that was when it was 1858 that was one of them maybe 1858 is when it happened um sorry 18 you know we'd had a flood but then they built the world trade fair center so who knows but it's all strange and we know we had a flood or even more than one flood that supposing the bodies obviously human stuff um human stuff and all sorts of things were dumped into the water but they were able to get engineers and sort the whole thing out by putting stink pipes in and i just think because of the way london was and the fair coming i'm i just think the whole thing would have been there in the first place to be honest but there it says neap tide see 
in London, the consequence of neap tides. So I looked up the word neap, it just means neap time. It just means certain times when the tides are higher. But I even put a water pipe next to one of those uh, stink pipes. But that's the kind of drawings they were drawing in the 1800s about the Thames and what it was like to live there. Yeah, so what's your thoughts to that? <laughs>